with Sir John Fenwick of Wallington. He is the original designer of the Elizabethan theaters. So, Sir Fenwick, where did you find your original inspiration for these designs of the well, magnificent buildings? Well, Godilla, I originally got my inspiration from the painting that I saw in the museum of a very futuristic looking theater. theaters were built outside of the city because some of the things that uh, they did in them were viewed as immoral but uh, in the eyes of the church another reason is because the city would make the black plague even more easily spread it was so famous because Shakespeare's business owned it and performed all his famous plays and sides. Okay, the Globe Theater, the most beautiful theater in the world, has a very distinct shape. Where, did, where does this shape come from? When the amphitheater was built, we designed its shape from old Roman Colosseum. There are a few downfalls of all of the actors soaked when it was when it rained. Rising from behind the stages is a tiring house in a three-story section of the playhouse that contains the dressing room, the pop room, the music room, old musicians gallery, and connecting passageways. The three levels of the tiring house are each very different. The first level was essentially a theater stage. When one was needed, take a look at this picture. could see the play with the daylight, the audience was able to tell what kind of play is going on outside of the building. Red is history, black is tragedy. pass on such a great opportunity for money. I don't know about that. What type of scenery and props are you using for place? There is very much scenery used and if there and if there is, we often use something behind the curtain that was prearranged. The props that are used are often war objects such as tigers and armor and some of the things like golden helmets and a cage. Wow. What are the um, costumes like? The actors, no matter what time period the play was set, they always wore dresses from their own era. They also have Roman clothes as well as their own British ones. Clothing also represented statues in a play. The more expensive and more colors, the better. Okay. Uh, what other skills did actors 
in the play. What? This is messed up. Huh? It's okay, just keep going. What, wait, what, what's the question? What, what other skills? Oh. Oh, okay, okay. What other skills are needed besides an acting ability? The skills actors needed are sword fighting, being able to fall convincingly to perform their own stunts, and as well as singing and dancing. Okay. Now, what are the costs of the standing room at the Globe Theater? The cost of the standing room was one penny because you aren't allowed to just sit down since there are no seats left. What are the people on the floor called? These people are called the groundlings. They are the people that drink, gamble, fight, and they get pretty scary on the floor. Sometimes people even consider them as stinkers. Okay, now what can you tell us, like, how, what can the audience do during the plays? The audience? Yes. They can buy food and they are allowed to boo and cheer when appropriate, but the audience gets really worked up and excited when they have the bloodiest sword fights. Can you tell us who Richard Barbage is? Richard Barbage is one of the actors in Shakespeare's plays. He plays the main role in Hamlet and many more. Richard is also the son of the first ever theater owner named James. Who's, wait, hold on. Who's the Who are the Kings? 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 Who are the Kings?